head above the sheets. No one's saying a word, but I can feel your heartbeat. I stare into your eyes, and you into mine. Ah, beast. I'm down on the cut with my camera today. I'm going through Netherton Tunnel. I'm going to take some Boston photos. I've been down here for yonks. I used to come down as a nipper, having a laugh. It's just down the bonk from Cobb's Engine House. It goes on for about two miles. It's quiet, no one about. Just a few folk walking their whammels. It's a bit wet in here. Puddles of wet out everywhere. I must be saft. I'm gonna get riffy. It's getting a bit cold in here now. A bit nippy. And I know what you am thinking. You am thinking. If you am cold, get your can coot on. Well I ain't bought me coot, have I? I don't think I'd need it. It's blistering out there. I left it at home. I'm going to set my first picture up here by the cut with these nice walls. Got to put my tripod over the water, make sure I don't drop my camera and bust it. Don't want to lose it in the cut. Hello, I'll stop blabbering on in my fake black country accent now before I offend anyone. I used to have that accent and it went away when I joined the army and started traveling for a living, I think. I'm in Netherton Tunnel today, it's a 2 mile, a 1.75 mile canal tunnel, completely dark, unlit, no lighting at all, puddles all over the floor, completely straight, and I've come down here today to do some photography. It's been a couple of years I think since I last came through here, there's a shot that I've always fancied a bit further down, there's a, an air shaft that goes up, I don't know, 100 metres or so to the surface above and the light comes down there a little bit but it's still quite dark so I've got my torch I'm going to try and light the scene and see what shot I can get for now I've set up by the railing overlooking the canal trying to pick up some of this nice white limestone on the side should be some really interesting shots to be had so I'm going to take a few now I'm quite near the entrance of the tunnel and see what I can get before walking down to the air shaft it to the air shaft I've realized a few things number one is my boots aren't waterproof and number two this place is no good for making YouTube videos so I'm going to keep this short and sweet I've just got the tripod set up at the air shaft which you cannot see if I turn it this way you might be able to see what I'm trying to shoot hold on I'm just walking precariously near the edge of the canal Air shaft number two is directly above me. I'm about four or 500 meters down the tunnel. I've got the tripod set up just here. And I'll try and show you just how difficult it is to shoot in these conditions. I've got a Sony A7, which is particularly good in low light situations, but this is something else. It's complete darkness, complete black. One of the big difficulties that I'm having is focusing. The air shaft has got, let me see if we can see it on the screen. No, not very well. I had planned that when I got to the air shaft, I would talk you through the composition, talk you through the shot that I'd been trying to get for a while now, but it's really difficult conditions. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna, if you can hear that, bloody big puddles everywhere so my feet are wet my boots aren't as waterproof as they used to be there is stalagmites or stalactites one or the other all over the ceiling 
dripping water all over me, all over the camera lens, all over the microphone. It's really tough conditions. I got some good shots, but talking to the camera and explaining things just wasn't working. And so I'm gonna call it a day, make it a short YouTube video. I'll pop all of the images up on the screen. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll be back with a hiking adventure style video probably next week. So um, subscribe if you haven't already. But cheers everyone, appreciate the support and the comments and I'll see you soon. Tarara bit, as they say in these parts. Cheers.